Welcome back to Metal Tips and Tricks. This is my continuing series of interviews I did at the Bar Z Summer Bash 2016. Next up is Tom Lipton from Ox Tools. Now, I'm not sure if I actually need to introduce Tom Lipton. You're probably one of the second guys I actually uh, subscribed to. Not the first? Not the first. Mr. Pete uh, outdid you, no, but if you want to take, that's okay, that's but if you want to take the grandfather of YouTube as a title, you know we we can transfer it to you if you want. I resemble that remark. You resemble that <laughs> mark. So for you guys who don't know Tom Lipton, um, he is probably one of the most technical, smartest guys on YouTube. He's turning red right now, but it actually is true. I love watching your videos because there's always these little nuggets of gold that teaches me something, so I really oh, do appreciate that. And I want to ask you, how did you get involved in doing YouTube videos? Well, uh, for me it started out as a, it was an experiment uh, through my work. Uh, I do some uh, hiring of technical staff and whatnot, and uh, we always struggle with uh, how to train folks uh, in our very strange methods for doing things. So. Um, the, the information density of uh, a video is very high, so you can give somebody a book or you can show them a six minute video and uh, it's pretty much the same content. Okay. And uh, so it's a powerful medium that way. And so, you know, we were discussing it amongst ourselves and they said, oh yeah, go ahead, go do that, right? And I decided I wanted to kind of experiment on my own. When you first get in front of the camera and you're, you're talking to the camera, it's very awkward. And, uh, and then when you're editing your own videos, you hate your own voice. It just <laughs> drives you nuts, right? So you got to kind of get past that the little threshold. And, well, uh, the, the other thing I love about when you're, you're doing your own videos and you stop frame and you got this face on you that's all twisted, yeah. you have to get over your own ego on that one, guys. Exactly, right. And, uh, but that goes away pretty quick. I said, oh, well, I'll just create a little YouTube channel. I'll throw these up there just to uh, see what happens, right? And, and practice making videos, right? In fact, one of my first video is Technician Series 1 or something like that. I can't remember. It's okay. a very, very old video. But then, like, people actually started subscribing to me. I was like, hey, what's going on here, right? You know? And so I said, oh, well, we'll make another video, right? And then the comments started coming back. And, uh, and then, you know, people were encouraged by some of these things that I was doing. So it was, there's this feedback mechanism. So yes. the viewers feed back into us and uh, encourage us to make videos and, uh, and they appreciate what we're doing. They really, really do, right? And they show it in a lot of ways through their comments and, uh, and you know, they send gifts. They're just very generous folks in general. And uh, it's, it's very humbling in uh, that it way. Is. It is. And uh, so, and then pretty soon you're making a couple a week, and then uh, a couple years later you're here, you're sitting in front yeah. of Dale Derry, right? <laughs> <laughs> right so. so, let me ask you a technical question. Okay, sure. Or should I ask you a tech? No, I'm going to hold off on that one. What advice do you have for other YouTubers? People starting out or? Uh, Both. Okay. Um, get a tripod. <laughs> okay. So, uh, um, yeah, I, I'm half joking there, but uh, um, just start. That's my advice. Just start. And uh, you don't have to think about being fancy or how good. If you, there's, there's people out there that, are, that have YouTube channels that are drawing stick figures on paper, okay? And they have gigantic <laughs> YouTube channels, okay? So the bar is very, very low. <laughs> <laughs> the bar is very low, and uh, and somebody told me, and it act, uh, actually was AVE, right? Uh, he mentioned, he goes, listen, there's plenty of room on the internet, okay? And it's true. Yes. There's room for everybody, so just go for it. Just start. That's and, great. Uh, and get a tripod. So, get a tripod. <laughs> so um, I have a third question for you. Right. It's the geeky question. Sure. What type of camera and software do you use for editing? So, um... I first started out with a uh, uh, a Canon G11, and uh, which is just a a prosumer uh, little point pocket, shoot. yeah, kind of point and shoot. It's got nice glass, and then the first one, the G11, it doesn't have a HD capability, um, but it worked. It was fine. It was okay. fine. It worked pretty good. Um, the one thing I like about it is it has a really good microphone on it. Okay, so I don't have to do a bunch of audio mixing. Okay, okay. so to me, it's 
video editing and making is about balancing the work with the video editing, right? Is I don't I don't want to spend an hour per minute of video produced, right? I want to spend an hour on a video. Are you, are you talking about me? You kind of sideways, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Because <laughs> I, you know what, I think you mentioned that last year. That for every minute you're watching, it's an hour, and I'm like, oh my god, yikes! And yes. <laughs> I don't think I would do it if that's what it took. I, I'm right? down to thirty minutes now. Excellent, good job, Brett. Good job. So, um, um, I forgot what I was saying now. So, oh, I had the G11, and it has a really good microphone. Well. Pretty soon, you, you really want to look at HD, okay? You know, that's the format that everybody wants, watches. And the other thing that people forget, they're not just watching this stuff on their phones or little computer screens. They're, these people, folks are watching this on 60-inch plasmas, okay, or whatever. And, uh, and this is their entertainment, right? It is. So you pretty much got to go to HD right out of the gate, right? And, uh, and just get on with it. And uh, now I compromise a little bit because of... Uh, uh, computer horsepower. I shoot 720 HD and okay. I don't do 1080. I will eventually when I get another computer and uh, kind of upgrade that. Currently I use a G15 Canon. I have two of them. Um, and so I can get a tight shot and I can get a, a, a wider shot. And the microphones are excellent on them. Good. Um, I can zoom in really close and you guys have seen some of my close-up stuff. It's, uh, it's pretty good. It is. And uh, I'm a power director guy. So um, Adam kind of turned me on to him, Adam Booth, and uh, he turned me on to Power Director. And I was using Windows Media uh, Movie Maker, which is free. So that just shows you how low the bar is. You got a <laughs> cell phone and some free software, game on, you're, right? You're, you're going. You're a YouTuber. You're a YouTuber, you're going, right? And uh, so, in, you know, you, you kind of upgrade and, uh, and get along. It's a small camera, you can get it in close. Uh, they don't cost a million bucks, so if you splatter it with coolant or whatever you, you know okay you're not yes. crying over it so uh, it's that's it's, great advice it's well good. that's one reason people like the uh, gopro yeah the gopro's pretty good um, i i played around with the gopros a little bit and uh, the microphone uh, situation kind of bothered me a little bit well and, like uh, you were talking about adam booth he has an exterior mic yeah so he's for really this sorted GoPro. that problem out and uh, and got it good he's got a shotgun mic and uh, and it works pretty good and it's a pretty tight setup too so uh, it worked yeah, you can make it all work. If phones work, it's just get started. Just go. That's, that's right. my advice. All right, all you right. guys. Tom. All right, Dale. Tom thank Lipton, you. thank right. you. I hope you guys have enjoyed this interview. I know I enjoyed producing it and also getting a chance to talk to these guys. It's been a great experience. If you did like this video, please give me some thumbs up. Also, give me some of your positive, supportive comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, Go out in your shop, build something cool. Thanks.